I'm Kevin, and welcome to our third and final installment of the Chord Melody mini-series. I appreciate you joining me here today. We're going to check out a new key, the key of C minor, and a new scale as well. So get yourself tuned up, and let's play some Chord Melody. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that alert bell so you know when the next video is coming your way. If you're interested in more learning resources, head over to allforyuke.com where we have a full searchable library of songs, song sheets, practice tracks, worksheets, and more. All for you, allforyuke.com. All right, so since we're in the key of C minor today, we're gonna use the C minor scale to complement and play all of our melodies. So let me play the scale for you and then we'll go through it note by note. So it starts off like this. So let's check that out. So we start off with an open C note here on the C string. So we just play open C. Our second note is D and that's played on the second fret of the C string. Then with my ring finger, I'm going to play an E flat note here, which is on the third fret of the C string. We move down to an F note, which is here on the first fret of the E string. And then we have a G note out in the third fret of the E string. And we have an A flat note because we're in this minor key here. We have A flat that's played on the fourth fret of the E string. And then we finish it off with a B flat note and the A string, which is on the first fret, and then we finalize the scale on C on the third fret of the A string. So again, we have C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C. So a good practice is work on this scale on its own. Just kind of play it forwards and backwards. Some really cool tones you get out of that C minor scale. So that's one pattern that we can use for the C scale, or C minor scale rather. The next pattern here, I'm going to actually start the scale on the E flat note, but we're still going to play all the notes within the key of C. And this gives us options to play melody lines up here within the first six frets now rather than just the first three. So if I start the scale on an E flat note here, I start with third fret of the C string. Then I go to my F note, which is on the 5th fret. G note, here on the 3rd fret of the E string. My A flat note on the 4th fret. My B flat note on the 6th fret of the E string. And then I move down and play C on the 3rd fret of the A string. D on the 5th fret. And end it with E flat. So that sounds like this. So that gives us access to quite a few options here as we play our chord melody. And in today's lesson, we're going to be using a couple more bar chords because C minor lends itself nicely to playing some bar chords when we use the A flat and B flat chords. So let's check out the chords now that we're going to use for today's lesson. So let's start off with our C minor chord, which is our one chord. And I like to play that one with my index finger barring the bottom three strings on the third fret. So there's my C minor chord. You could technically play that with your ring, your middle, or your index finger, but I like to cover the C, E, and A strings here with my index finger if I'm going to try to access notes higher up the neck. So there's your C minor chord. You also could play C minor with the full bar chord version, which is keeping your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string and barring those bottom three strings as well. That's also a C minor chord. So our next chord, our two chord, is gonna be a D diminished chord. And that sounds like this. And we play index on the G string fourth fret, ring on the C string of the fifth fret, middle on the E string fourth fret, and pinky on the A string of the fifth fret, and that we've used in a couple of the other chord melodies, so that's a nice chord there. Our third chord is a major chord, and that's an E flat chord. So the E flat chord is one of my favorites on the uke. Sounds like this. You can either play it with middle and ring on the C and E string with your index on the A string of the first fret, or 
Sometimes I'll play that with my ring and pinky on the C and E string of the third fret with my index and my A. You have a choice there. Some will like that little stretch and it's a preference thing. So there's your E flat chord. We also have an F minor as our four chord in the key here. So an F minor, you may have seen this uh, hand contorted shape here and thought, wow, that was really a crafty one they came up with. Well, the F minor, really nice sounding chord. I play that with my index on the G string first fret, middle on the E string first fret, and pinky on the third fret of the A string. You'll notice here my hand is really tilted up towards the headstock when I play an F minor chord. It gives you nicer spacing and that ability to kind of reach your pinky out here to the third fret. Another way of playing F minor, which we will do in the video for the play along, is this. So it looks like an E minor chord, like we used last week, and you're going to play index on the third fret of the A string, middle on the E string of the fourth fret, and then pinky on the C string of the fifth fret, and ring on the G string of the fifth fret. So that F minor looks like this. Nice sounding chord. Just a little different way of playing it. And then we have our G minor chord, which is another one of my favorites. Down here in first position, we have C string, second fret, E string, third fret, and index in the A string of the first fret. So that's the G minor chord. And our final two chords on the key, we have an A flat chord, which we're going to play with a bar chord version here. So I bar the entire third fret, play my ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string and middle finger on the E string of the fourth fret. So there's our A flat chord. And then for B flat, we have a couple of different options here. So B flat, you could take this A flat chord and shift it over to the fifth fret, exact same shape, and you have a B flat chord. If you wanted the voice leading to go up, you would play it there. If you want to go down to first position, you'd play B flat down here with ring on the G string of the third fret, middle on the C string second fret, and index barring the bottom two strings of the first fret. So those are the chords in the key of C that we'll need for today's lesson. And let's get into playing this little ditty together. If you're digging the sound of my uke, head over to allforuke.com slash shop. You can have a Kala ukulele for yourself. When you buy your Kala ukulele through All For Uke, you're supporting us and we really appreciate it. Make sure you check it out. Concerts, sopranos, tenors, baritones, a wide selection of accessories, capos, and more. All for you, allforuke.com slash shop. All right, so the tune that you heard in the beginning of the video, we're going to break it down into three components here. Let me play the first little section and then we're going to break it down note by note. So here we go. All right, so I'm going to start off with my index finger on the third fret of the E string, and my first two single notes are going to be G and B flat. So I start off with index, and then pinky reaches out here to the sixth fret on the E string. And then I do a single down strum on my C minor chord. So we have three, six, strum. And with my index finger down, you can either do a little pull off here on the fifth fret or you can do two single notes. I like to do this little pull off. So I pull off from five to three. So I only pluck it once to get two notes. So we have. So the other option you have if you don't do the pull off is you can do two single plucks on those notes. So you would play the C minor chord and then pluck fifth fret with your ring finger and then just pluck the A string again because you're already holding down the third fret. From there we shift over and play our G minor chord with a single strum followed by two single plucks on the E string of the third fret. So we're already holding that down with the chord so we just pluck that twice. So here's where we are so far. 
From there, we jump over to our A-flat chord. So this is a nice little uh, transition to work on, moving from G minor up to our A-flat chord. So single strum down an A-flat, followed by single pluck on the fourth fret of the E string, which we're already holding down, and third fret of the C string, which we're also holding down as well. That's an A-flat and an E-flat note. And then we finish the phrase with one single strum on the G minor. So the whole thing together. All right, here is the second little section starting on an A flat chord. I'll play this for you and then we'll go through it. So we start with an A flat chord, and then we play fourth fret of the E string, single pluck, which we already are holding down, and we are playing the third fret on the A string with another single pluck. So we have A flat, and then E string, A string. We move over to our E flat chord now with a single strum, and then we hold down these two frets, we'll just keep those held down and we're going to play the E string and C string. So, so far we have A flat and then E flat. Now from here, we're going to be moving towards a G minor chord. So when we do that, I'm just going to take my middle finger, slide it from the third fret to the second fret, play one single pluck on the C string. Let that ring, and then we'll do three strums on G minor. So this little section all together goes. All right, now I'm going to play the third and final section, and we'll go through it. Note by note. So here we go, starting on A flat. All right, so again, we're going to start this little section here with an A flat chord, single strum, and then we play our E string fourth fret, which we're already holding down, and then we play the A string on the third fret which we're holding down as well. So you kind of see a common thread here. A lot of the notes you choose, yes, they're within the scale, but they're within the chords as well. So they're already going to sound pretty nice. So that's why I choose these notes a lot of times because they fit really well when you just play them within the chords. So we have A flat, and then four, three. And then we cruise on over to our E flat again with a single strum. And then we're going to play our E string, C string as single notes. So we have. Now we move over to our F minor chord here. We're going to use that shape I showed you in the chord section. We play fifth fret, fifth fret on the uh, ring finger and pinky here, middle finger on the fourth fret, index on the third for the F minor. We play that with a single strum, and we do 4th fret, 5th fret, with the melody line there. So we have F minor, and then 4th fret of the E string, 5th fret of the C string, and then we just end it with a single strum on the C minor chord. And this C minor chord I'm actually holding down the chord with my ring finger on the G string as I play that. So let's go through that one more time here just to show you where we are. So we have A flat. All right, here we go nice and slow through each section all together. So three, six, C minor. Pull off, 
G minor, then A flat, four, three, G minor, then A flat, four, three, E flat, D, G minor, then back to A flat. Alright, so now we're going to go through all three sections, put them together, play them through in real time like we did in the beginning. Just take your time, take a deep breath, enjoy the chord melody, and here we go. One, two, three, four. So how did you feel about playing in the key of C minor today? Was it preferred over the major key, or did you kind of like the little darkness that came from the key of C minor? And if you want to leave in the comments below, what would you name this tune? Because I don't really have a name for it yet, and I'd love some uh, feedback from you guys in the all for You community. Again, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more chord melody videos, we're always interested in your insight. And if you guys want the chord melody worksheet and tab that I put together for this, you can get that at allforyuke.com. I thank you so much for watching. My name is Kevin, and I'll see you next time. Let's get carried away.